What's up you guys, it's Kyra and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I just wanna be fun and kind of just chill out, do makeup and just talk. Um, I love chit chat, get ready with me because I feel like it's a good way for me to just like express like what's been going on up here, you know, um, while doing something that's actually helpful, which is teaching makeup. So I figure I can just do, you know, two in one, combine it and just do like a chit chat, get ready with me. Um, I'm actually headed to dinner tonight with my sister and brother-in-law and then um, a friend and his fiance. It's actually a bit of a pre-birthday celebration for my sister and I. We're turning 28, 28 you guys, next Wednesday on October 10th. Um, I guess whenever this video comes up, it'll be on this Wednesday. Um, but yeah, we're turning 28 and I just, I don't even know like where, <laughs> where to start. It's so funny because I never, ever, ever really cared much about my birthday, except for last year, kind of all changed because last year you guys was the first year I ever woke up on my birthday and was like, whoa like okay i'm actually <laughs> getting old not that i'm old or anything but it's just you just realize like how fast time is going by and it's like this year is no different it's like jesus like i'm about to be 30 and that is crazy to me i feel like every year on my birthday i always kind of do well i'm actually a very self-aware person i'm always doing self-evaluations i'm always trying to figure out like what I can strengthen, you know, what I can improve upon, you know, what I do like about my life and what I, you know, would want to change and things like that. So every year I'm always just kind of, you know, thinking about ways to basically be a better Kyra. And now that this birthday is basically tomorrow, I, I feel like the past like month or two, I have just been in such a space of just, just reevaluating what I want out of life. I'm going to get real vulnerable with you guys because it, it's weird because it's like I've, I have recently found myself not wanting or no, take the back. I have recently discovered that there are things that I have always wanted or thought I wanted. And then recently I'm like, that's not important to me. Um, one big thing is, okay, so I've never been a big materialistic person whatsoever, but you know, I'm always like, but I also thought there's nothing wrong with wanting nice things, right? Like I, I'm not materialistic, but I do like, I just naturally like nice things. So I, of course I want to work towards, you know, having nice things, right? But it's like the older I get, the more I realize that that is like the least important thing, <laughs> in my life, no lie. I'll tell myself that I'm, you know, working to buy like, you know, this big house and drive this nice car and blah, blah, blah. And I recently found myself working so much that I wasn't even enjoying like my life, not gonna lie. Like I feel like, and I, my husband and I actually, one night we were just in the bed and we talked for like hours and I just like let everything out that I had been thinking about cause I'm like, my interests, my passions, like just were like the, the life that I envisioned has been, has changed. I found myself working so much that I was, I wasn't really being present. You see what I'm saying? So it was like, I was so focused on, you know, working all the time. So it was like, I would work my nine to five, get off work, work my side hustles every single day even on the weekends, on the weekends, I'll be working all day. It's like, I, I don't, I don't mind working. I actually enjoy working, but I feel like it gets to a point to where you're just like, okay, like I'm not actually enjoying the life that I have in front of me, you know? And I feel like sometimes as humans, we can get so caught up in where we want to be and not focus on what we have right now. And I am so, so guilty of this. First of all, let me pause real quick. So I prime my face with the Becca F Matte Primer and also prime with the Tarte Clean Slate Primer um, and just apply the MAC Lane Low Paint Pot to my eyelids. Oh, and then for foundation, I'm gonna be using an oldie but a goodie. It's the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the shade NC46. But I mean, I know that I have a bad habit sometimes of just of looking or, or being so focused on looking to the future that I don't take a time out to actually focus on my now and be thankful for what I have in this current moment. And 
I think that that's something that like was driving me to work so hard and spend so much time working because it's like, I feel like I have to, I told my husband that the way that I feel is I feel like I've been working towards certain things. Like I have certain goals and I, you know, aspire to have particular things, keyword being things. That's the problem right there. But that I have and want all these things because I feel like I should want them. And that's a huge problem because the thing is, is that, and this is where 2028 kind of changing and evolving has come to places because I've realized like those things, they'd be cool, but that is not my priority. You know, like for me, I have learned that first of all, I have realized that I get more joy and peace and happiness out of spending time with my, my husband and my family and traveling and just, having fun and laughing and I feel like those things give me so much joy than any materialistic type of thing could ever give me you know like how are you one of these things but that's not really important to you my number one goal aside from just being at peace with myself well first of all being a true servant of God and then you know being at peace with myself just having true happiness like you guys, there are so many people that you'll see on social media, you know, on video or just even in life, just running into them in, you know, in the store that are not truly happy. You know how easy it is to fake a smile, you know? You'll be surprised how many people actually fake it, okay? My goal is to not fake it at all. I want to be truly, truly happy and content with where I am. But aside from that, one of me and Dion's biggest goals is to build true wealth for our family. And not only our kids, because of course, we want to set our kids up. I think that one thing that we lack in our community, and this is just, and this is not an attack or anything on the black community. I think that we, there's so many things that we don't know. And that of course, I can go on a whole rant about institutional racism, you know, injustice, social issues, things like that. But there's so many things and resources and just ideas that we aren't privy to. Um, and so I'd say that there's there's tons of, I mean, of course, you know, there are the select few that have figured it out. But there's tons of families and children, you know, who could, who could be much better off if they were privy to these things. Um, and I feel like one thing that we don't quite no, and because we don't know it, we don't know how to pass it on, is how to build generational wealth, okay? Like that's a huge, huge, huge thing for me and Dion. And it's not even for, and I'm, I, I'm really passionate about this because it's not even for our kids. Okay, if you guys watch my Instagram, then you guys know that I love Jay-Z and Beyonce's song, Boss. Me and Dion <laughs> jam that song all the time because that song is an entire mood, okay? And there's a line in the song when Jay-Z says, over here we measure success by how many people successful next to you. Over here we say you broke if everybody is broke except for you, okay? So again, over here we measure success by how many people successful next to you. Over here we say you broke if everybody is broke except for you. Just think about that, okay? And when me and Dion first heard that song, we were like, that is exactly how we feel. Because me and Dion not only wanna build generational wealth for our children and our children's children, we wanna spread it to our families, like our moms, our dads, our cousins, our aunts and uncles. We wanna figure out a way to build something, grow something, invest in something, um, that we can, you know, bring in our family and friends and help them, you know, you know, thrive and and be able to pass it on. Basically, we we want to just like be, I don't know, like I don't know how to describe it, but we want to really, really help help our families out, and that is one of our number one priorities. Um, and so recently, I kind of just did like an like a self audit, basically, and I basically reevaluated what I've been doing why I've been doing it and is what I'm doing actually working towards my end goal? Like, am I actually putting energy and effort into things that are actually gonna help me 
you know, accomplish my true goals and what I believe is my purpose in life. For example, one thing that I realize is not really productive or not even productive, but it's kind of, I won't say counterintuitive, but it's something that I felt like was not aligned with my um, goals is uh, vlogging. And I know people love the vlogs, I do. And that's why I'm gonna start vlogging occasionally on this channel. I um, mean, it's more so just kind of capture certain moments that I wanna be able to look back on. But as far as having a vlog channel, people don't know how much energy it takes to edit videos, okay? So I already have this channel, which you guys know I love makeup, I love fashion. Like these are things that, that I actually enjoy doing. Vlogging is a bit different because you know, it's normal everyday life. And you would think that that would actually be easier to edit. It's not. It's actually just as time consuming to edit. Another thing is that I just feel like it was, well, a couple things. Let me go ahead and mention that I'm using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C10 for concealer. Not only is it time consuming, it takes away from, I don't want to say it takes away from life, but... It takes away from you being present. Okay, so you guys know I work a nine to five, right? And so, and my husband's in school full time. So our normal everyday routines from Monday through Friday were pretty routine. It was like the same things over and over again, right? So there's already not much to vlog during the week, okay? So then you get to a point where you feel like, okay, once your husband comes home or once you get off work, then you have to film something for the vlog or you have to film some content or you have to go out or you have to do this just to have content to edit. And you, at some point, and I don't know if it's just me and Dion or what, but at some point you just get tired of it because it's like, you feel like you're not really enjoying your present and being just being carefree because you feel like you always have to pull out the camera, you know, to capture this or to record this for the video to go up on Monday or Wednesday or whatever. And you just realize that like it takes away from just living, you know, whenever. So we had took like a month long break back in the summertime, maybe a couple months ago. I think it was like July, maybe. I don't remember. Um, and when I say and that was the first long break we had taken since we first started vlogging two years ago. And when I say that break was probably, it was one of those things where I didn't know that I missed not vlogging until I actually wasn't vlogging. And I think that it's got to a point to where I was like, this really isn't, like, do we need to do this, you know? And we realized that we didn't. We didn't really need to vlog. Like, vlogging is, I never wanted to be a full-time vlogger. I never wanted to be a big vlogger. I honestly started vlogging to capture special moments, um, which I still will on this channel occasionally, but it'll be more, I'm calling it intentional vlogging because it's more vlogging whenever I actually want to and feel like it as opposed to vlogging just because I feel like I have to post a video or post content. You see what I'm saying? It's a difference. And I feel like that would make a lot more sense on this channel because like I said, it'll be very occasional. And I also feel like for those people who don't follow me on Instagram or don't follow, you know, my vlog channel with my husband, they'll get a chance to see me in my true form and like really get to kind of connect the dots. Like, okay, oh, this is who Kyra is or this is what she's about, you know? I also felt like I was putting energy into something that wasn't really working towards my end goal. And I could actually be using that time that I'm spending editing vlogs and things like that towards things that are actually of importance to me. Because there's actually no harm or no shame in plans changing. Plans change all the time. And as you get older, especially as you get older, I feel like the older you get, the more you realize what you want and where you're going and or where you want to go. And I feel like that's just something that it's also important when it comes to self-evaluations is because, or a self-audit, I call it, is because you may find yourself putting energy into things that you could actually be investing in something else. So for example, I really wanna build my blog. It's something that I started because I'm passionate about. Um, and I really have such 
a huge vision for it. But again, because of things that I had been doing and that I had been putting all this time into, I haven't been able to give it 100%. And I'm able to admit that I haven't given it 100%. And so for me, it's like, I have reworked my calendar, because I do have a calendar and a weekly schedule, to where I can invest a lot more time into that and spend more time creating content and spend more time, you know, doing all these things um, that I really want to. Same thing with my store. You guys know I have a boutique with my sister. And so her and I have been working on that. And again, same thing with my stories. I feel like there's some things that I can cut out to put more emphasis and more attention on that because that is one of my main priorities. I want to grow my store. I want to have a successful clothing brand and that's what I'm working towards. So why don't I go ahead and put my energy in things that I really, really, really want, you know? So it's just self auditing, self evaluations um, for my under eye areas and my hotted areas, I went ahead and used the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Um, and so that is basically that. As far as this channel goes, you guys probably see that I have gone down from three videos back down to two. I may do three videos occasionally. I just felt like, again, same theme there. Um, while I love filming YouTube videos, I need again to cut back on areas that I feel like I can and put energy into other areas. So I'm gonna go back down to two videos a week, for sure two videos, maybe three. We'll see how it goes. Another thing with me, and here's kind of shifting shifting gears here, as far as self-evaluation goes, um, I actually feel like there is so much more to me than makeup. And while I love, love, love doing tutorials and how-tos and product reviews and all that good stuff, um, again, there is just so much more to me than that. Um, I just use the MAC Dark Mineralized Skin Finish to set my face. And then the bronze, I'm gonna use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark Deep. I have not used this in forever. So we will see how this goes. I just thought there's just so much more to me than makeup. And because of that, you guys will start seeing um, a lot more of a variety on my channel which I am actually very excited about because I feel like I have tried to keep myself in this box to attract, you know, certain brands or to attract certain followers and things like that. But I just feel like, and, and just to be clear, that definitely will still be the basis of my channel. It's gonna be the beauty portion. And of course, fashion here and there. Um, but I feel like there's just so much more to me. And I feel like the older I get, the more and more I wanna offer. Um, in regards to lifestyles type stuff. So I wanna just do more content that's reflective of who I am as a woman. Like not just the external, like not just how to do, you know, your lashes or how to do your brows or whatever, but you know, how I clean up my house or how I decorate or how I, you know, you guys wanna do fashion stuff, so how I style looks on a budget, you know, how I, how my husband and I, you know, have been, you know, made, it lasts for nine years, you know, just like stuff like that. I just feel like there's just so much more I have to offer. I just feel like I want to just expand and just be more me and just showcase more of who I am. Like for example, the weekend fall routine that I just recorded, you know, two weeks ago, that was very out of the box, but you guys seem to love it. And you guys seem to want more videos like that. And I really, really appreciated that because I feel like it showed that you guys are open to new types of content. And I'm glad that you guys are because I definitely want to do new types of content. So, you know, and again, it won't be anything too crazy. Like it won't be anything that's too far fetched or too far from who I am, but it'll definitely be more of just a true, accurate, accurate, accurate representation of who I really, really am, you know, behind the scenes. And I feel like the only way that I will stay invested in YouTube and want to keep making YouTube videos is if I expand my content and create a variety because I feel like YouTube has changed so much. New topic, okay. I personally feel like YouTube has changed so much. And a reason why I have been wanting to kind of just reevaluate my priorities and, you know, refocus my energy into other things is because just my opinion, okay? My opinion, you guys, my personal opinion. Um, YouTube will not be here forever. I think sometimes people, 
forget that. Y'all, we all know how the world works. We all know how trends work. We all know how digital, you know, the digital space and technology, we all know how that works, okay? YouTube wasn't big, you know, 10 years ago or however long ago, and it probably won't be big 10 years from now, if we're being completely honest, okay? So I think that, first of all, you know, we've already seen YouTube change the algorithm. We've seen YouTube adjust how they pay influencers. Like, people are not... I think people don't realize how big your following has to be in order to make as much money as they believe people make. Um, and it's not very often to find people who actually reach or can reach that status. Now, of course, if it's for you and God has it for you, he's gonna make it work regardless. Um, I am also a very realistic person. And so I know that, I mean, it can definitely happen for me, but I'm not putting all of my eggs in that basket because I know, A, it's not something that's very, very common. Um, and also I know that it won't be around long term. So then you start to think about, okay, well, what happens whenever it's gone? And for me, that's why I want to invest more um, in things outside of YouTube because in my opinion, that's what's gonna have the longevity and have the impact. Like I can't pass a YouTube channel down to my kids. I can't give them my YouTube channel. Like how can I give them all of my subscribers? It's not gonna happen, right? The money comes from the brand building. It comes from all the behind the scenes stuff. And so for me, that's what I wanna build, okay? And so that's why um, I wanna focus more so on things outside of that. So I'm actually considering, just considering no decisions yet, but which is why I'm considering going back to school. Another thing is that I'm considering going back to school to get my MBA. Um, I do not believe a degree is necessary in order to thrive and succeed. But as I mentioned about how I want to really build wealth and just learn some new things, I just feel like there are things that I don't know that I really want to know. You don't know what you don't know. And I feel like, and I feel like I have finally reached a point where I feel like there are things that I do not know. Um, that I know would be of value to me. Again, nothing set in stone yet, um, but I'm a firm, 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 firm believer in education. Like forget social media and forget YouTube, all that kind of stuff. In my personal opinion, I am a huge believer in education. I think that social media and just media in general has, how do I put this? I'm gonna be very careful because me and Dion always say that we... We don't believe that school is necessary to be successful, as I said before. I don't believe that at all. Um, but I do believe that society and social media, especially social media, has convinced people that education is no longer important and that all you need to do is have a bunch of followers and you know wear nice clothes and have a nice car and have a nice house to make a lot of money. But I feel like education is not valued these days. And I feel like social media is the main cause of that because people push this idea of just being Instagram famous. And that's all you need to do to be successful. And it's like, no, boo, no. And also, just while I'm on a rant, I also feel like um, people don't realize how many people are faking you guys, there are some people on Instagram that you look at and you're like, oh my gosh, like they have a fabulous life and they are 100% stunting for the gram. They are faking it. And that is what I do not want, at least my family, to be a victim of, okay? But anyways, back to me going to school. I'm considering going back to school because like I said, I feel like there are things that um, I don't know that I feel like I need to know, but I don't know what I don't know. And I've reached a point to where I'm okay with, okay, like, Kyra, like there are some things, especially now running a business, and I just feel like there's a lot of things marketing wise and just brand building wise and brand management wise and things like that. Even just P&L type stuff and financial stuff that I don't know, that I feel like would be of a value to me if I do go. So we will see what happens. I'm certainly in a rush to get there. Um, well, I see my rush. I'm not really in a rush to get there. I, I do have about three years left on my, uh, <laughs> my GMAT score before it expires. And I refuse to take that test again. So if I don't go within the next three years, I ain't going at all. <laughs> that sounds
sounds terrible, but anyone who takes the GMAT knows how difficult it is. And I took it three times and I refuse to take it for a fourth time. I'm not doing it again. So it's like I basically have, you know, within the next three years to apply and go. Um, because I'm not doing it again. I'm not doing it again. But, um, yeah, that's kind of just where I've been, what I've been thinking about. And, like, just my thoughts on just how YouTube is in general um, or where it's going. Um, and just my stance on, you know, education. And I don't know. That's why education is so important. And, like I said, I feel like it's not – I know that's not for everyone. I completely understand that, and I completely agree with that. Um, that I know. But I just feel like, man, social media is a blessing and a curse. Because it has truly convinced people that life is a lot easier than it is. And even in a business, like, people look at business profiles and, you know, CEOs and things like that. And they'll think that, you know, what we do is easy. And it's not at all. I remember whenever my sister and I were actually first preparing for our launch. And we were shooting um, the images for our website. And we actually had a friend help us out because we were, you know, tight on cash. And we were shooting and she said, her exact words were, I had no idea required all this. And we were like, yeah, because, you know, social media makes you think that it's all easy, that it's all fun and games. And it's a lot behind the scenes. Like there's a lot we have to learn about running a business. And it's an interesting learning process, but it's a learning process nonetheless, you know. For my eyelids, I use the new Laura Mercier Sugar Frost Caviar Stick Eye Color. It's just a stick color crayon. It's very similar to the Kiss brand that I showed you guys a while back. Um, but the color payoff is absolutely gorgeous. Actually, I bring it up a little bit into, into my crease. This is like the perfect quick glam tool i'm just in a very 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 funny place but in a place that i am actually very excited to be in because i feel like i'm just learning so much about myself and like what i want and where i want to go but i just want to be as transparent and as real with you guys i feel like there's not enough <laughs> this may sound funny but i thought like there's not enough real on youtube like does that make sense like i just feel like there's not enough transparency and not enough reality I think I have been myself, you know, I definitely have been myself. I haven't been faking it or anything like that, but I just feel like I want to show even more of who I am and what I have to offer. Okay, so right now I'm taking the Buxom Gel Liner and it's lining my tight lining and then lining my lash line and smudging it out with my finger. This creates some nice, slight smokiness, nothing too crazy, but let's make it just a bit smoky over there. Okay, can't forget lips. I'm gonna take the J Manual Beauty lip pencil in the shade Hickey and line my lips. Okay, and then going in with the Milani Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Vixen. It's a brand new one I found the other day, you guys, and it's so gorgeous. Like, look at this. I'm gonna go with a little bit of the the Balm bronzer in the shade Grammy, just because I feel like my bronzer is not, it's not giving me enough definition. So I'm gonna kind of swarm it up just a little bit. And then for blush, I'm gonna use this new blush balm palette from Carity. This is the Coral Kaboom one. Y'all look at these shades. I'm gonna take the matte orange one. Actually, no, I'm gonna do the, the on point one. I'll just do both, actually. I'm going to mix Gorgeous and On Point, which are these two here, of course. No, these two there. It's not, y'all. The flesh shine. I'm going to align my little lash line real quick. Can't forget highlight. I'm going to take the Wet n Wild uh, Hotter Powder in the shade Crown of My Canopy. My face. Make my C shape, maybe in my nose. Ooh, that's way too much. I'm gonna smudge out my bottom lash line with that same bronzer. It's the Balm Grammy Bronzer. Just to add some chocolate down there. 
and then pop on the highlight in the inner corner. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop on my falsies, do my hair, and change my clothes off camera, and I'll be right back with the final look. All right, guys, so I went ahead and did my hair. I just curled my hair with a flat iron. Um, also popped on some falsies. For lashes, I'm using the Style D02 by My Diva Lash. In my opinion, they're um, pretty natural looking, and I really, really like them. Like, they're honestly perfect in my opinion. So I love the lashes um, and also changed my clothes. I hope you guys enjoyed today's chit chat, get ready with me. I know the makeup look itself wasn't too um, drastic or too in depth or anything like that. It was honestly pretty simple um, and honestly just like my typical main go-to makeup look. Um, but you know, it's the perfect go-to look for the fall and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So if you guys did give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys.